Very well, dear viewers. It is time for more Dishonored. The Hound Pits Pub, The Loyalists. You've returned to the Hound Pits Pub to pick up the trail of your old allies and find out where they have taken Emily. Emily, yes. Rescuing the young Empress is indeed our top priority. Cecilia! Cecilia, my dear, I should be thanking you. I should be thanking you for encouraging me at the end of last session to stop recording before I ran out of hard drive space. That way, for this session, after I've cleared out that hard drive space, I will not have a lack of hard drive space weighing on the back of my mind as I lay siege to the Hound Pits pub. And siege is indeed what I intended to be. One quick look around to make sure I'm not missing anything that would help me. It doesn't seem that I am missing anything that would help me in here. It seems I've taken everything already. Cecilia, do you have anything to say before I head out? You do not. Very well. You stay safe in here. As for me, it's time to really do this. What a day, huh? Gonna be a great party tonight. I was only a kid at the last party. I didn't even make it to tonight. Will you look at this mess? Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. Threw the mask in the river, left out. We've heard those guys talking already. It's my intention now. And the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwin. To pick off whoever I can. The time working with him. I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. And generally assess the strength and number of my opposition. He's probably watching us right now. With that crazy mask on. Creeping closer. Carefully. Until... Come on. The Lord Trevor Pendleton for the office of Prime Minister. All right. Emily Havelock. And all of its imperial possession, notably the capital city of Dunkirk. I fervently hope my tenure will be a short one, and that the rightful heir will take her place within a mere decade. We've got a couple of tall boys out there, and it appears to be a handful of guards. Ooh. Well, that guy is not facing the door. <sighs> As Lord Reed I think Piero Joplin's inside. Crackpot, natural philosopher. There is evidence that Anton Sokolov was held here against his will for some time. We can't determine what happened to him. I'll bet my commission he's in that building with Piero Joplin. If so, arrest him. But I don't want him harmed until I get to the bottom of all this. Careful. The place may be booby-trapped and I want him alive. What else? Yes, sir. The servants were all executed shortly before we arrived. Looks like a naval cutlass and a small bore pistol. Looks like Corvo ran amok before he left. Turn this building inside out. And it goes without saying, this area is sealed. Stilt walkers at all points. I hereby claim the title of Grand Admiral of the Fleet and Supreme Commander of the Combined Armies of the Empire. Havelock's just making up titles for himself now. I hereby proclaim myself Supreme Commander of Everything and Ultra King of the Universe. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> oh, that didn't do you too good, did it? One more. Gotta be careful with him. I'll ambush him if he comes this way. Ooh, he's not headed this way. All alone? All alone. Ah! Emily's drawings. Oh, Emily. What's that? Damn. What are they firing on? It's not me. Do I have help here? Okay, be careful. Alright, I don't want anybody coming up and surprising me. 
on their patrol route. That ought to be good enough. Alright, so this will give me a better view of this... Oh, come on. Of this yard area. Two tall boys. I got one, two, three, four guards that I can see from here. And I heard another tall boy out this way, but that's the one we already know about. That looks like a pylon. I'll stay away from that. Even though it doesn't really look functional, I'm still not going to risk it. It's got a switch right there. Easily reached. Piero's workshop balcony. An optional objective. And Havelock's is an optional objective. And Emily's is a... is a mandatory objective. Ah, oh, Emily. These drawings. A letter from Emily. Corvo, remember before when I mentioned a special drawing I was working on for you? This is it. I don't know where you went, but I hope when you get back you see this and like it. I'd like to take it to Dunwall Tower with us. Everyone's acting strange tonight. Samuel was whispering to Callista about a flare launcher that she was supposed to use to call him. He told her to lock the door to my old tower. I heard the Admiral tell the others we are leaving tonight for a place called the lighthouse on King Sparrow Island. I hope you get back before then. Emily. Oh, Emily, this is not... This is my mask. This is not what I wanted you to see when you think of me. This... This image, this dark visage is what I wanted my... My enemies to envision when they hear my name. It's the last thing I want them to see. As they face justice... But it's not what I wanted you to think was the difference between right and wrong. But... That is the path I have chosen. Find Havelock, some clue to his plans. Find Callista and Samuel's signal flare. Those are my primary tasks. Optionally, save, <laughs> save Piero is an optional task. Oh, that's right, I've got... I've got two blueprints for him. That really doesn't make it an optional task, does it? I've got to be able to use these. I've got a lot of money. Uh, make contact with Piero and Sokolov inside the workshop. Enter the shop through the riverside balcony. Well, it's not too far. It's 24 meters. But I'd hate to make myself seen, and I'd hate to put myself in range of that pylon. Maybe there's another way around. definitely want to spend this money and get those upgrades. <sighs> and there's still... I hereby appoint the Lord Trevor Pendleton to the office of Prime Minister. Ooh, that guy caught a glimpse of me. Those tall boys in their stilts. Cheaters. Cheaters, I say. Oh, he's headed this way. Oh, oh, oh. He's still aware of me. Or he still thinks he saw something. Let's be careful. Oh, you're just gonna make it easy on me, aren't you? Yeah, you bet you are. I'll play! Carefully, carefully. Wow. They didn't notice that. I was ready to kill them if they had. With the tall boy gone, I have free reign on the high ground out here. There's still those other two that I've got to worry about, but out here, the top level is where it's at. All right, where are you, buddy? I need to make sure you're not covering your friends back. Ain't anybody with signs of the sickness? Bug someone else. All right, so we've got we've got three of them out here on the road, on the street at the moment. I don't need them alerting anybody. Alright, let's go... Let's skip them for the time being. And get to Piero's workshop balcony. Is that them? Uh, is that they? <laughs> them or they? It's they. Is that they? In that... <laughs> cowering for their lives in there? 
I don't want to be seen by those tall boys. Fortunately, I have a way not to be. <laughs> There's the balcony. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's refreshing to converse with someone on my own level. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the Academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. Yeah, I want to ask you. About the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subject? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. But it's forced me to work with another agent derived from... The river crusts, yes. I'd guessed as much. But I think our approaches may reinforce each other. This is what we've been lacking thus far. They're cowering for their lives under a couple of tables in their workshop as it is besieged by tall boys. And as they do so, they're discussing natural philosophy. <laughs> Those guys are actually kind of cool. Look what we found. Speaking of which... No others. What have they done, done to me? They, they left in great haste, haste scattering like the insects, eager to bore into the nests you made for them. Cursed dreams were accurate. Conspiracy just a nest of worms. All is falling to ruin, and even the great Piero's days are numbered as hounds scratch at his door. If only I had enough whale oil in here to set off a pyre equal to my brilliance. <laughs> if only I had a bomb that was as explosive as I am smart. A little cocky about your intelligence there, aren't you, Piero? But guess what, gents? No need to fear. Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, nearly rendering our enemies unconscious or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Ark Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. Hmm, I see. Havelock's old room is where your blueprints are, yes? What do you have to say about this, Sokolov? We need that blueprint. With that, we can complete the job. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Nice. Wow. If you guys could see what I see... Yeah, I think I can see why you guys were trembling under the tables. Alright, so... The pylon up above on the workshop. That actually is... Wait, hey, can you... Can you use blueprints that I have now? I'll make what you need as long as I have the necessary materials. Excellent. New upgrade available. Improved armor. And I thought I had one for incendiary bolts, which are right there, so never mind. Upgrades. Improved armor. Reduces damage. Lovely. I'll take that. And I've got 2,200 coins remaining. Let's see. I've got four mana... I really wish you could make health potions. 
We have Sokolov right here. Can he make me health potions? All right. So let's stock up to about seven of those and leave it at that. Most of my consumables are doing okay. Let's see if there's any upgrades that I really want. Again, could skip Corvo's pistol upgrade. I don't really need that because I don't use the gun too much. Uh, I do use it on occasion, but it's not enough to warrant spending uh, a sizable number of coins on it. Spring Razor Radius, not necessary. Again, another upgrade for the pistol that I won't use. Combat Sleep Darts, uh, I'm not really a fan of Sleep Darts anyway, so none of this stuff do I need to worry about. Sticky Grenade could be fun, but I like the bounce of the other grenades and how they attract attention. Sword Crossing makes the sword more effective when locking blades and pushing against an enemy. I don't know if I need that to be... I don't know if I necessarily need that, because I can pretty much win every one of those sword crossing events anyway. Equipment upgrades bullet capacity, again for the gun, not necessary. Grenade capacity could be cool, but I don't use a whole bunch anyway. And spring razor capacity. I do like spring razors, I'll go ahead and take that. Everything else, I don't really need, leaving me with 1400 free coins to spend. Stock up on incendiary bolts because those are something I've wanted in the past but not had. Another rewire tool or two. There we go. Spring razors, plenty of them. Stock up a little bit on grenades, leaving me with 300 coins, 386 coins, and I'll leave. I'll, I'll leave it at that, just in case I find some sort of other blueprint or something around here that I might need. I don't know, 400 coins for, and I happen to find the rest or something. Okay, we're good. Get that blueprint, and we'll all be free of this place. Understood. Nom, nom, nom. All right, so I've got to make it to Havelock's old room now. Callista. Why is that on my screen? Oh, find Callista and Samuel's signal flare. And I guess I would do that by... Inspecting Callista's remains. <laughs> I don't want to be up this high right here. Let's go this way. And try and get out of line of sight of those tall boys. Havelock's old room. <clears throat> Careful. I thought there was an open window. Around here somewhere. No, no, stupid goddamn. No. So that arc pylon, I can use to fry every one of you, or knock you unconscious. But knocking unconscious hasn't been my style, really. So you can guess which one I'm going to opt for. But then again, there's something to be said for taking each one of you out individually. That could be fun too. Whoa. Let's not go that way. I might have to go that way. Yes, that's where Havelock's old room is. What? Hey, is no one making rounds over here? This better not be a huh? joke. Whoa! Did he open the door? What the hell? He opened the freaking door. Firing. Nope, no firing. Ugh. Nope. No, no, no. No good. No good. Gotta get out of here. I have to get out of here. Ugh. No, no, no. Don't shoot at me. That's just mean. 